being adapted with the latest technology with rich features, Android is the smartest OS nowadays. We came through various features, settings, applications which made us our device more smarter than before. Still there are some hidden tricks which can help us achieve some great new features while using our Android smartphone. Hey what's up guys, TechnoReview here and today in this video I'm gonna show you the 6 Android settings or features which you must know while using your Android smartphone. Before starting this video make sure to hit the red subscribe button on our channel and also press the bell icon beside it as to get quick notifications of our new uploads. So at first we have your sensitive notification. When we receive any message or notification on the lock screen, it shows almost the full message which sometimes can be a breach in your personal information or private stuff. Like here in this case, this message from my bank shows the last 4 digits of my bank account which is not at all good if I am in a public place using my device and people beside me staring at my phone will get to see these informations even when my device is locked. So in order to hide the full message to be shown in the lock screen, we can apply a settings which is pretty handy. Simply get in the settings of your device, security and location, then get into the lock screen preferences, tap on the first option where it shows show all notification content, now make it hide sensitive notification content. So guys there you go from now on, on the lock screen it will show you contents hidden, rather revealing your personal information to prying eyes. Ok guys so up next we have your easy web browsing. Now like me, if you are having a big screen android device then it's too hard to use the chrome application while using the device one handed. We find this very difficult to reach the chrome address bar from here. So it would have been a great option if the address bar could have been placed at the bottom in order to make it handy. Yes we have a trick for this where we need to get into a new tab and over here on the address bar type in chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. Now press enter and you'll be here in this page. Now over here you need to find for a word called home. Once you do that it will show you the result as chrome home android. So by default it will be in the default mode but we need to make it enabled. Now simply tap on the relaunch now button over here and it will reopen the chrome web browser. Now there you go guys we got the address bar at the bottom so from now on we can browse through web pages very easily in the chrome web browser. Now guys all of us don't have high end android smartphones so the next trick is for them who aren't using a very high end smartphone which gives a great performance in the UI and this trick will go also for those who wants to boost the overall android UI speed and performance without installing any third party application which further drains the battery. Now here you can see guys while getting into the app drawer or the multitasking window we are getting this animation which makes the usage a bit slower. So we can fix it with this simple method. Get into the settings option, scroll all the way down to about phone and then tap on the build number for 7 times. It will unlock the developer options. Now get back and get into the developer option. Scroll downwards and you will get this 3 options which lets you change the animation duration. So I would suggest for a nice speed boost keeping a bit of animation, the best preset for this 3 settings would be at 0.5x. So make the 3 options to 0.5x and here we go. We get a great speed boost while opening the app drawer, multitasking window as well as while opening applications on your smartphone. Alright guys, up next we have a new settings which have been introduced with the launch of Android Nougat which is called Storage Sense. This setting is also there in Windows 10. So this is a great feature if your device is running out of storage space or you are having a low storage space on your device. The option is also available in Android 8.0 Oreo but with a different name called Storage Manager. Get into settings, get into storage and then tap on the internal storage of your device. Here I am using Android Oreo so it gives me storage manager. But if you are using Android Nougat on your device then it will be somewhere like storage sense or something like that but it will be there on Android Nougat. 
By turning it on, the Android system automatically detects the file saved from the Google Photos application and also music, games and video files on your Android phone. It automatically deletes the unnecessary files or duplicate files which are not needed or can be viewed or streamed online. This feature is really great as it has a built-in AI which detects all the files and saves a lot of storage space on your Android smartphone. Now Android Nougat came with a unique feature called multi-window which lets us use two different applications simultaneously. But in some application or games like Pokemon Go, you might have noticed that the multi-window feature won't work which means you can't play Pokemon Go while using some other application like Facebook, Instagram or something like that. But there is a cool workaround for this as we can forcefully allow the Android system to enable multi-window in each and every applications installed on our Android smartphone. For this get into settings then developer options and scroll all the way down to this option where it shows force activities to be resizable. So simply enable this option and from now on you won't face any problem while keeping any unsupported application on the multi-window panel. Now guys we all take photos of our old photographs which are not in a good condition. We tend to keep a backup of those photographs as to print them as a fresh copy but after taking those photographs from the native camera application we need to apply some editing like cropping then some filters and stuffs. Still we lose some of the portion of the photos because of the cropping and also we lose the clarity. So while taking these kind of photographs, I would recommend you guys to use the Google Photo Scan application. It's the best application for scanning any photograph and take photo of it. So while we are in the application, simply align the photo on this white frame and tap the button below which will start scanning the photo. It also says that don't worry about glare as it takes the photo by using the flash on your smartphone which reflects on the photo keeping a glare. But don't worry guys, this application even removes that glare as to maintain the clarity of the photo. So once you take the photo, simply drag or move your smartphone towards these four dots around the photo as to make the application scan for the edges of the photo. Now once we are done with this, it will process and will present you a photo with 100% clarity making your old photo pop like a new one. Isn't that great guys? A must have application for every Android users. Highly recommend you guys to check it out. Links shared down below in the description. So guys that's it for this video. The top 6 Android settings or features which I think you must know while using your Android smartphone. All the necessary links are shared down below in the description. So definitely check out the description for getting the direct links and informations for getting these cool stuffs on your Android smartphone. And that's all for this video and if you like this video then do hit the like button down below and also subscribe to our channel and I will catch you guys in the next one.